Bye. Part three of my video, guys. Um, next one is, how do you handle rejection from a fellow witch that refuses to do a reading or spell for you? Um, never had that happen, so I have no idea how to answer that. Next one is, do you think it's necessary to cast a circle? Yes, I do believe it is necessary, because when you're doing a spell, I believe, at least in my line of work, I believe that it is a beacon, and anything, and I mean anything, can come near you. I believe a circle is a circle of protection, so that nothing evil can get in and actually attach itself to you and hurt you. Next one is, if Steven Spielberg wanted to make a movie of your life, who would you want to play you? Don't really have an answer for that. Um, the actress who plays um, Katniss Everdeen. That would be good. Alright, next one is, what is some advice that was given to you that you pass along because it made an impact on your life? Or your path, I mean. Um, be careful what you do. Be careful what you speak of. Because if you don't speak a certain way, it will backfire. Always good to avoid that. Okay, next one is, what is some advice you would give, give someone who has not found their deity? Listen. That's all I have to say. Listen. Your god or goddess will either come to you through a dream, or nature, or through an animal, or even through people themselves, or through inanimate objects. Listen and watch. Um, learn what to look for. And don't close yourself out to the idea of having more than one deity calling to you at one time. Now, if you see signs and you don't know what they are, even when you look them up, you may not be ready to see what said deity is and that's not necessarily because they don't trust you it could they they could have a very valid reason for it so go with it and you will find who you are supposed to be with who you are supposed to pray to or supposed to go to when you're in trouble or when you need advice and never be afraid to ask them for advice they will give you whatever, whatever advice they deem necessary or whatever that they think you can handle at that time. Okay, next one is where do you buy your herbs? I do not buy my herbs. I try and grow them. Okay, next one is how did you feel casting your first circle? Awesome. Uh, at the time, I didn't quite understand what that meant to cast a circle. And when I first cast one, I could actually feel it. It was very odd, very weird for me, from someone who is so used to not feeling anything, that when you first do that, it's different. Like, being washed with warm water, for lack of a better term. Because that's what it feels like to me. Okay, next one is... What was your first successful spell? Again, it would have to be the love spell that I mentioned in part two. Um, not something I really want to get into. Leah, get in here. Next one is, what is your general practice for meditation? Again, like I mentioned in part two, I sit and I will imagine two tubes, one hollow, one knot. One is used to keep you in one spot. And the other is to push negative energy or excessive energy back into the planet so that you are able to deal with it. Next one is, are you a day walker or a night, a night comer? I am a night person, night comer. Um, I don't like daylight. Next one is, how and when did you know you wanted to be on this path? Again, I was born wicked. I was, grew up wicked. Um, the gods sent me messages all the time. They still do. Um, now as to whether or not I know what half of those messages are, no, I don't. But, you know, I figure 
they have a valid reason for not letting me know yet and not letting me see it. Okay, next one is, what type of pagan are you? Wiccan, eclectic, hedged, etc. I am a Wiccan. I'm also eclectic. I am also paganism. Pagan. Um, I go, I, my path, I believe, is pagan, and it is an umbrella term, and underneath that term would be Wiccan or witch. Uh, next one is, what color candle do you use most? White or red because red to me equals fire and that is what I am I am a fire sign next is what area would you like to see your craft to grow in uh, runes I would like to be able to understand them more and to be able to use them more possibly may start making readings for money or just for whatever Next is, what is your preference to buy or make your tools? My preference is to have clay. If I can't make it out of clay, I won't make it. Next is, what fictional witch book or movie inspired you most? Okay, have you ever seen The Craft or the uh, movie Practical Magic? Those two are what inspired me most. Practical Magic is what inspires me to be good about myself um, versus the craft is what tells me what I should avoid in the craft. Um, that's where the self-gain comes from because that's what most of the people in that movie did. So I tend to avoid that. Next is, were you alone or in a coven for your first spell? I was alone. I didn't have anyone to help me. Still don't have anyone to help me. I work as I go type deal. Okay, next one is, what is your favorite candle, incense, scent, or magical purpose? For magical purposes, excuse me. My favorite incense scent is vanilla. I love vanilla. If you know me, I constantly use vanilla stuff. Vanilla is like the most wonderful scent in the world. Uh, and it's the same thing with candles. It, they're white. And vanilla candles are usually white, so I can use those as a white candle. Okay, next is, where is your favorite place to go to reconnect with nature? Outside. Sitting in the grass or sitting on a porch, uh, just looking out. I don't have to actually be out in nature to reconnect with it. I can sit on a porch and look out and enjoy myself and be quiet and be peaceful and meditate all at the same time. All right. Next one is, do you believe in fantasy creatures? Obviously. I believe in fairies. Granted, I haven't seen one. I haven't even seen evidence of one. But just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean they don't exist. And it's the same thing with unicorns and all these other creatures that are supposedly not real, like mermaids. I believe they are real. There are parts of the ocean and everywhere that we haven't even been in yet. I believe that those parts are where they live. Um, now versus if we go to, are able in the future to go to these places, will they still be there? Chances are they won't. But you know, hey, there's always that chance that you'll find one anyway. Next one is, do you believe in ghosts and spirits? Yes, I've seen a lot in my life. I've seen a lot of things in my life, spirit-wise, demons, that I'd rather not see again, let alone talk about. Next is, would you ever teach the craft? To my own children, yes. To anyone else, no. I'm not a good teacher. Um, not to mention, for anyone who's not a child, how do I know they're really trying to learn it? Or if they're just trying to be difficult so they can go and make a bad name for it? Sorry, I don't do that. Um... Alright, that is the end of part three, so please stay tuned for part four, and part four, the final full, the final one, and please stay tuned, uh, please subscribe, please tell me how you liked it, and yeah, so blessed be, love and light, and I will see you guys next time on the fourth installment, and blessed be.